What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. As you guys know, I am a Canadian reseller. I sell on Facebook Marketplace, Kijiji, and eBay. And it's a lot of fun. Definitely flipping for profit is definitely a lot of fun. And I love sharing all of that with you guys. Today is gonna be a mix of different sales that I've had in the past little while. A little bit on Facebook Marketplace. Most of it actually is on Facebook Marketplace, but there is a couple eBay sales here or there that I'm gonna be talking about in this video as well. Let's get straight into it. Some of this stuff is stuff that honestly I've been sitting for a couple months and I'm just glad to finally see it going and I did make profit on a lot of these items which I'm definitely happy for. First item is a bunch of hardcover children's storybooks that I bought at a thrift store. Usually you can buy them, any kids books, usually at a thrift store around a dollar to a dollar fifty each which is a great deal. So if you pick out a lot of the Disney or a lot of the great characters that kids love, usually you can get a lot of sales. The problem here in Canada for me is shipping these books. Some of them can be heavy. Shipping is usually 20 to $25 for a single book. That is a lot of money for somebody. If they're paying 20 to $25 for the book, they don't wanna pay the same amount for shipping and pay a total of $50 for that book when they can buy it for around $25. So that does make it harder here in Canada to sell books on eBay, which is why honestly I'm getting out of it. I only have a couple left. And after that, I'm not even gonna be trying to look for them when I'm at thrift stores, unless I see something that I think I'll definitely be able to flip on Facebook Marketplace or something like that. These kids books, there's a lot of Disney ones, uh, Cars characters, Monsters Inc. They're basically storybooks. So they had a lot of different stories in them. I bought the, I think there was six of them. So six of them at a dollar each, that's about $6, five or six of them actually, I can't remember. I think there might've been five or six. Still, let's say that it was $6. I sold all of them for $15. So I did make a little bit of profit. I at least doubled my money. But honestly, whenever I picked them up, I seen sold comps for around 20 to $30, but the shipping is definitely what kills and made them in almost impossible to sell on eBay. These were sold on Facebook Marketplace. Next is two Transformers that I picked up. Both of them are, are Optimus Prime. Picked them up from a thrift store, both for $4. Usually toys and things like that, they do have really cheap at thrift stores because they get so much of it in. So I think it was $4 for both of them, that's $2 each. I sold both for $15, which is me tripling my money which is great. I honestly knew nothing about them. I seen them. I knew kids love Transformers. Kids love Optimus Prime. I picked them up. Couldn't find sold comps on them. There's so many figures out there. I just couldn't even figure out which ones they were. One of them was a cheap one. The other one I just knew nothing about. So I sold them for $15 and still tripled my money. I sold them on Facebook Marketplace. Next is an Xbox 360 bundle that I had. I think I lost the footage of when I found it whenever I like making videos like that. I lost the footage, unfortunately, but I did sell this bundle for $80. Usually my bundles include, when it's Xbox or PS3, five to seven games, one to two controllers, and the console itself sometimes extra accessories if I do get them whenever I purchase them to flip. But they also purchased 20 Xbox 360 games. Now these games, I just purchased the day before. I didn't even list them yet. When they asked, they said they were interested in the bundle, they wanted to pick it up or meet for it. I also said, hey, I have 20 Xbox 360 games if interested. They asked how much, I said $40. They took them. I purchased those games a day before for $20, I also got some Skylander figures, which I'm also gonna be mentioning because I did already sell those. So I've already doubled my money on those Xbox 360 games and they bought the console from me as well. So that's $120 sale that I made off of these people and I upsold, I sold them extra games, 20 extra games for $40. Then the Skylander figures, there was actually 40 plus Skylander figures and included with Skylander's game for the Xbox 360. And if I remember correctly, three portals, um, that sold for $50. They didn't even try to talk me down. I thought, honestly, I'd only get 25. I listed it for 50 and somebody did come and pick it up for $50. So I already made $70 on that lot, the 20 Xbox 360 games and the Skylanders, $70 profit already. And I have one game left. It's a Spider-Man game. I haven't sold it yet. I have that one listed on eBay right now. So I'm hoping for in total, $100 profit on a $20 investment, that would be pretty nice. Next is a PS3 bundle that I had. 
I sold it. It was a PS3 Super Slim, 500 gigabytes. It had uh, seven games, two controllers, everything casted. I think this one had an HDMI cord. I listed it for $150. I was going to go and relist it for $125 just to get it gone. Somebody messaged. They were coming from over an hour away, and they paid $150 for this. Now, since I like upselling at times, I did have 17 PS3 games left. Those are the ones that I was trying to sell for $5 in each. Uh, it's been extremely hard to sell those games lately. A lot of people, if they buy one and I have to drive 20 minutes to deliver it to them, that is not the greatest for me. It makes no sense to drive 20 minutes there and 20 minutes back for $5. So they were buying the bundle for 150. I said I also had 17 PS3 games, sent them pictures. They asked how much. I said $25 for all 17. They took it, that is $175 from one person that I made. That is an amazing sale in my opinion now. For those games, obviously I could have got more. That is about $1.50 to $1.60 per game, or even less, I can't even remember, but still, that's all profit. In total, with all my PS3s I bought a while back, I already made $300 profit and I'm completely sold out of all PS3 right now. So to me, to get them gone, he was already buying something worth $150, sold the rest for $25, got them gone, $175, all profit. That is amazing. I also sold Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and 2 combo pack for the Xbox 360 or Xbox One. This one here, I actually sold on eBay, so I did have to ship it, and it sold for $35. I did have it listed for $40. They sent me an offer of $35. I'll take $5 less for it and get it sold. I've been sitting on it for maybe a month now, wanted to get it sold, finally did. Now for shipping, it was staying in Canada, it was going to Alberta. Problem was, I charged them for tracking. I'm going to when anything that's to me over $25, an individual game that I sell that's over $25, I'm going to put tracking on it just to feel safe. That way I'm covered on eBay as well. If it shows it's delivered, they can't say it wasn't and I'll be covered in some way. So uh, tracking on this, since it's a single game, usually it costs $14. It only cost me $12 because it didn't weigh more than 100 kilograms, I think. Uh, so I think that was a great deal for me. $35, that one there was all profit as well. After fees, I think, is about $27 to $30, but still, that is a great sale. And then the final thing, which is something that I just sold yesterday, and that is a Anne of Green Gables eight book set. It is brand new. I picked it up from a thrift store for $10. I've been sitting on it for a while. I had it listed on eBay. I had it listed on Facebook Marketplace. Sold comps for it said it was about $50. Each book has a price tag of about $6 on it at least. So the whole set was worth about $50. Haven't been able to sell it for a while. I wanted inventory to go. It was something that was kind of bulky. I didn't really have a spot for it. So I listed it for $20. Somebody picked it up. Again, I purchased it from a thrift store for $10, sold it for 20. I'm still doubling my money. It's not the money I thought I was gonna get. I thought I was gonna be able to sell it for around $50 on eBay and have to deal with shipping. I'm glad I didn't have to deal with shipping for it, but still I doubled my money. That to me is amazing and I finally have it gone. So now, I will pick up a few more things if I go to thrift stores, but honestly right now I'm almost completely sold out of video games. I have to find some more lots, but a lot of people are asking way too much in my area and I can't pay outstanding prices because I'm not going to be able to sell it for a lot more than that. I definitely need stuff that I'm going to get profit from. So I still have a ton of comic books. I'm going to be making a video soon where I talk about my comic book sales. But these are my other sales recently, video games, other things I picked up from flea markets, thrift stores, things that I've been sitting on for a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Mostly everything that I talked about and shared in this video was all profit, which in my opinion is amazing. So I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys enjoy me sharing all this stuff that I buy and resell, all of my profit, all my eBay videos, all of my Facebook marketplace videos because I love doing this. This is a side income for me and it is a lot of fun. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.